Now, Chiram Municipality Member of Parliament Ibrahim Semujung Anders asked the Speaker Rebecca Kadaga for permission to move a formal motion asking the Executive to apologize for the President's remarks on the 20 million. Supported by the MPs, as Semiju claims, the President belittled Parliament and the Speaker, yet it's their mandate to do appropriation. Debate on this matter is expected later. We have Herbert Zua from Parliament to give us more about this. Go to the other paper. Where is it? Hey. Honorable Kania. Honorable Semiju. I want to thank you, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, last week, the President addressed the nation on matters of COVID-19. And in his address, he devoted quite some time attacking the Parliament and undermining Parliament, Parliament's constitutional responsibility of appropriation, portraying members of parliament as thugs who are greedy, grabbing money at the expense of the population and assigning himself a responsibility to defend them. Madam Speaker, that was meant to have been an address on the issues of COVID on the performance of government. I represent one of the constituencies in Chira, I mean in the Wakiso district called Chira. This parliament appropriated 59 billion shilling for government to distribute food to the vulnerable people, numbering 1.5 million people during the first 14 days of, of the lockdown. The 14 days ended before this extremely competent government had covered 10%. We went for the 21 days. They have ended. When this extremely competent government, headed by Muyekera, have not covered half of the vulnerable people, 1.5 million people. Instead of addressing the competency issues of the government, locking people in their houses and starving them, Right on every speaker, it has been a nightmare for me. This is something I've never seen. I'm going to be 47 this year. That women older than my mother, who is 73, are going to kneel before my gate, pleading for one kilogram of portion. Every day, even today, I had to drive to Parliament at 8, after meeting 8 and distributing whichever I had in my pocket. Instead of dealing with these issues affecting Ugandans, the head of state was inciting the public against MPs. And I want today, Madam, Pe Madam Speaker, to understand, I have not seen the head of state listing parliament as one of the essential services. I don't have a sticker. I must explain to each policeman of whichever rank, each day I come here to transact business. Why are we being treated like we have no stake in this country, Madam Speaker? This conversation is still underway on the floor of Parliament and we'll give you more details in our subsequent bulletin.